What's up guys, uh, Sergio here. So today I wanna to talk to you guys about is the best macro percentages for cutting and for bulking. Um, so when I talk about macronutrients, I'm talking about specifically uh, carbohydrates, fats, and protein. Um, you can throw alcohol in there too, um, but usually uh, when we're talking about macro percentage and ratios to cutting and bulking, we're talking about those three. Uh, so when it comes, for, comes to bulking, I really like the uh, 50, 30, 20 uh, ma uh, macronutrient ratio. And that is 50% coming from carbs, 30% coming from fat, and 20% coming from protein. Um, this one is pretty much the standard and one that people use a lot of times when it comes to maintaining their weight, but I also like it when it comes to um, bulking or putting on muscle as well. Um, a lot of people make the mistake of increasing their protein numbers uh, astronomically high without doing anything with their fats or their, car or their carbohydrates. And this is really a mistake because both carbohydrates and fats play an important role in increasing your, your lean mass. So don't make the mistake of neglecting your carbohydrates and fats when you're trying to bulk because everything is important. You need to increase all of them. When it comes to cutting, I really like the 40-30-30. So 40% coming from carbs, 30% uh, coming from fat, and 30% coming from protein. So in this uh, macronutrient profile, you want your protein to be a little bit higher because you are gonna be in a deficit, so you wanna try to keep from losing as much lean mass as possible. So by keeping your protein higher, um, that will help to decrease the chances of that happening. Um, as far as your carbohydrates go, you want those to be a little bit lower because, as said before, since you're in a deficit um, and you're trying to lose weight, you're going to want to take from those carbohydrates. Um, and this is also going to allow you to lose weight but not be so low in energy that you can't function or get through throughout the day. Um, so, uh, and, and then the fats, I like to keep the same. Um, I really don't like messing with the fats. Um, unless I absolutely have to. I always try to manipulate the carbohydrates first because I feel that you have a little bit more leeway as far as uh, when, how much you can play with the carbs and not have any kind of negative impact versus playing with the fats and having that ne uh, negative impact. Um, but with all that being said, 40-30-30 I think is good. I think it's a uh, ratio that you can keep for a longer period of time when it comes to dieting and trying to lose weight. Um, if you're trying to go on an extreme cut, um, so if you're getting ready for a bodybuilding competition or for a photo shoot or something like that, I really like doing something like a um, 25-30-45. So 25% coming from carbohydrates, 30% uh, coming from fat, and then 45% coming from protein. Um, this is one that I personally do, um, and I know there's a lot of different philosophies out there, but this is the one that I have found to be really effective. Um, on my last body, uh, my bodybuilding competition prep, I was doing 23% uh, coming from carbohydrates, 31% uh, coming from fat, and then 46% coming from protein. Um, the reason why my protein was so high, like as I said before, when it comes to cutting, um, I was trying to minimize um, losing as much lean mass as possible. And because I was in such a severe caloric deficit, um, it was there's a high probability that I could could and would lose lean mass. So that's why my protein was was so high. Um, my carbohydrates were low because, like I said, that's the one I like to manipulate first, um, even before fat. And so I had my carbohydrates really low, and that really allowed me to get down into the lower levels of body fat percentage. Um, and then as far as my fat, I kept it as th at 30 because one thing that I've also found is that um, you know, when my fats tend to get really low, I tend to get a lot of aches and pains. So, um, I found that, you know, leaving my fats where they are tends to kind of keep that at bay to a certain degree. Um, uh, to a certain degree, it is unavoidable. Um, but I, like I said, I just really feel like messing with fats is really can be, have a lot more, uh, um, detrimental effects than lowering your carbohydrates. Um, so... Uh, that is my macronutrient profile that I like for cutting or for extreme cutting. Um, so the take home point is uh, three different things. Uh, number one, if you're trying to lose 
lose weight or if you're trying to gain weight, it's all about being in a caloric deficit or a surplus, okay? That is what is going to have the biggest impact. If you're in a calorie surplus, you're gonna gain weight. If you're in a caloric deficit, you're gonna lose. Um, your macronutrient ratios are gonna determine whether you're um, gaining fat or gaining muscle when you're trying to bulk versus uh, if you're losing fat or losing uh, muscle when you're trying to cut. Lastly, um, I think that your protein should always be pretty consistent. So um, whatever ratios you have, you're gonna wanna stick pretty close to uh, what that needs to be. So like if your protein, if you're bulking, is, if it's at 20%, you wanna keep that protein as close to 20% as possible. And then if you're cutting, if it's at 30%, you wanna keep that protein as close to 30% as possible. Um, when it comes to your carbohydrates and fat, there's a little bit more leeway. You can kind of interchange them somewhat because they both can be used uh, for energy. So I just want to leave you guys with those three points. Hopefully uh, that uh, helped you guys out, gave you a little bit more insight into macronutrients and uh, the ratios and proper uh, uh, profile uh, when you're trying to uh, bulk or if you're trying to lose weight. Um, go ahead and try these ratios out yourself and, and see if they work for you. Um, but uh, if you guys did like the video, um, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you guys have not subscribed to my channel yet, please go ahead and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.